Hello everybody, hola a todos, cześć wszystkim. In today's video I will show you how you can customize Keycloak login page for your customers. As I wrote in my article, to which you can find a link in the video description, when you run multi-tenant product, um, different customers may have different uh, security requirements. Uh, for example, they can have a different uh, uh, requirements regarding uh, adding a company logo to the login page or even more importantly adding a legal banner to the login page. So uh, let's uh, implement it in uh, Keycloak. First uh, I'm actually going to use a local Keycloak uh, rather than Keycloak uh, deployed to Kubernetes. Uh, I am using uh, Keycloak uh, 1204. Uh, I will use specifically this version as it has a nice feature uh, of adding localizations uh, for realms directly from the realm configuration screen. Uh, this makes it super easy to customize login pages. Uh, I will also use local Keycloak because it's much easier to play around with templates and simply reload the page uh, to see the, the results. So uh, first uh, we are going to disable caching of templates and uh, themes. Um, just uh, locate the standalone XML file inside the standalone configuration folder. Uh, go to the theme uh, section and set uh, cache themes to false, uh, cache templates to false. Uh, to be on the safe side you can also set the max uh, age to minus one. This will effectively disable the caching and when, uh, whenever you will be making changes to the templates uh, you will be able to just refresh the browser and you will see the results uh, right, uh, right away. Okay, so uh, first let's add a legal uh, banner to the, uh, to the login page. Uh, we will uh, add it under the sign in button. I, for the purpose of this demo, assume that we have two customers. I created two realms for them. We have customer ABC and uh, customer XYZ. And we want to add a legal banner under the uh, sign in uh, button and a logo uh, be uh, below the uh, company name. So uh, let's uh, first start with the legal banner uh, in here. So uh, in order to do this, uh, we have to open login FTL file, uh, which is located under the themes based login folder. Uh, and uh, we have to find a forms button, div element, and under this uh, element, uh, I added uh, this piece of code. How does it work? Basically, if the message function doesn't find a message for a given key, it returns the key. So it doesn't return null or empty string. So the correct way to actually check if the value is set is to make sure that the return value is different from the key. If it's different, then we will show it. Okay, so let's add it for uh, the first uh, customer. Let's go to the localization. Um, let's add a new localization and I will just uh, copy from my other screen. Okay, uh, let's switch to XYZ localization. Let's add a new locale f with a slightly different legal banner. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have it. And now let's try to refresh both login pages. 
yeah we see that uh, for ABC there is a banner now displayed and for XYZ we have a different legal banner displayed okay so uh, now we want to add a customer logo we will add it at the top uh, under the customer name so uh, let's uh, take a look at the templates again uh, we will have to do this in a, a different file uh, also in the themes based login folder uh, but in a template uh, FTL file and uh, we have to find uh, the header wrapper element and uh, just under this uh, header wrapper element we added uh, a similar code uh, it is actually looking for a company logo message so uh, and yeah, uh, then it is uh, instead of showing a text, it is rendering an image with a source, uh, the value provided in the company logo message. So let's uh, define a, a sample company logo uh, file. Uh, let's create a new entry here. Um, I will use a JBoss community logo. Uh, this is the logo which is displayed uh, in uh, uh, Keycloak um, on the Keycloak welcome page. It's just an image which is uh, you know already available in Keycloak. Uh, you you don't have to uh, look for it. Okay, let's check. So we added a company logo and it has this value. So I'm going to refresh. XYZ login page and we can see that under the company name I can now see the JBoss community logo. If I will refresh the ABC tenant login page I see that uh, nothing is added uh, below the company name because uh, this value does not uh, exist. So we now have our templates uh, ready uh, so uh, one of the options to actually release it is to copy those uh, files that we modified into a new docker image, build this uh, docker image and push it to our private docker registry and later our Kubernetes uh, deployment uh, will use those uh, uh, docker images instead of for example, the, the ones which are available in public uh, repositories. So in this video, I showed you a nice way of customizing your customers' login pages without uh, having to actually create and manage multiple different themes in Keycloak. That's uh, very handy. Uh, of course, uh, if your customers uh, want to, to fully redesign the login and uh, not only uh, the login page because you can uh, uh, have uh, different templates for user registration, account details, even emails, uh, then you can prepare and deploy different themes for uh, them. If you want to do this, uh, please check out the official uh, server uh, developer documentation it's uh, very well documented and there are also many examples online showing you how to do this. And the best thing is that you can provide uh, only your own CSS file and override styling without actually having to change the templates. So that's it for uh, this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.